given moment in time. As it grows close, changes will be more widespread and pronounced. In recent months, a growing number of whistleblowers have come out to speak publicly about the Iraq. This is because Nibiru is on an elongated elliptical orbit relative to our southern hemisphere. So people living in this part of the world would see Nibiru first, and they shall also be the first to experience whatever Nibiru brings with it. And it's not bringing anything good. The Rani ice shelf will likely break off the continent drift into the Waddell Sea. This will cause enormous icebergs to drift toward New Zealand. As the ice reaches warmer waters, it will rapidly melt, causing a significant rise in sea level. To give you an idea of the significance of such an event, if it were to take place, and recent data from, this, from these locations suggest that this is happening now and at an accelerated rate. Take a look at this video of what our future continent may look like. Seven thousand square kilometers, roughly the size of France, may also separate from the continent, causing mountainous clusters of ice to float south towards New Zealand and Australia. Polar storms, unlike any the world has seen, will ravage the continent in conjunction with a marked increase in seismic and volcanic activity. Mount Sipple, one of Antarctica's largest active volcanoes, certain to erupt, sending a plume of deadly ash into the atmosphere. This will be the start of a pole shift. Large earthquakes will ripple across the continent. Add to that multiple super eruptions. This will shake Antarctica to its very foundation. And this is just the beginning. What happens in Antarctica is merely a precursor for what will happen across the entire globe. The devastation will start there, then rapidly spread. Scientists who are aware and who know of this approaching system have indicated that those living in the southern hemisphere will be the first to witness its destruction. 
but that those who live in the northern hemisphere should be prepared for what's coming, as the geography of North America will be forever changed by the rising sea levels and tsunamis that will affect all three coastlines of the United States. Those living in large metropolitan areas their coastlines will be affected in unimaginable ways by these drastic changes, as the coastlines of the United States will be several hundred miles inland from their current location. It may be interesting to note that this data matches warnings issued by other Nibiru whistleblowers and researchers. Renegade astronomer Paul Cox and Nibiru enthusiast John Moore have released maps depicting North America's post-Nibiru coastline. I know this all sounds horrible and almost unbelievable. This depiction is what we would call a perfect nightmare scenario for millions of people. But it is important that you remember one thing above all else. Humans have a strong desire to survive. So although lives will be changed in the blink of an eye by what approaches, life will continue on this planet in one form or another as it always has. I said you quite tasteless for another, as it always has. I would like to direct your attention to a few very intriguing images and videos that I received just recently. Now, I would encourage you to continue sending your images and video captures to our Facebook page at the address shown here. You can also send them private email on our YouTube account by clicking on the About icon located on our channel page shown below. The first image captured from the Soho Imaging website on September the 16th is showing a massive object just below the ecliptic plane, which is shaped similar to a comet. Now, if we enlarge this object, you will notice that immediately behind this giant comet-like object is a trail of debris, meteors, and asteroids, and then a cluster of planets and smaller objects following in a serpentine formation or a double helix formation, what some have called the string of pearls. Now, if this satellite image has indeed captured this complex of planets, or the nemesis system, then the notion that it has entered our inner solar system, as Marshall Masters and Major Ed Dames and other Nibiru researchers are now claiming, then this could be very well true. Once the system crosses the ecliptic plane, its movement will be more rapid, and it will become more visible in both the daylight and the evening sky. On September 2nd, an incredible video capture of the Blue Kachina was recorded in the evening sky. Take a look at these extraordinary images seen from a distance and then enlarged. This fits the description of the Blue Star as described by the Hopi tribe. Now take a look at the image once again in this photo. To the right is the actual object that was observed, but if you look at the ancient inscription to the left, you will notice how remarkably similar the circled inscription is 
to the formation of the observed object. These images are absolutely astonishing and irrefutably undeniable. Finally, I wanted to share this September 14th video captured by a sky watcher that actually considers himself to be a diehard skeptic of Planet X. He says that after viewing what he captured outside on video on a moonlight night, he has to admit that there is something out there that he cannot explain away. Furthermore, he says that the object appears to be moving slowly towards us. Now, obviously, what he has picked up cannot possibly be as close as between the Earth and the Moon. But what he has captured certainly resembles a planet. And if you look closely at the movement of the clouds in the background, you will notice that they pass in front of this very large entity. So folks, there are some very strange things appearing in the heavens, which we just cannot explain. Images of this incoming system are becoming more prevalent each passing day. And it's up to each of us to be more vigilant and observant in the days ahead. Whatever is happening now is an ominous sign, a warning of what is coming our way. These signs are given to us so that we may warn others of the dangers that lie ahead. So that we may gain the courage and the fortitude to prepare ourselves both mentally and physically for what lies 